Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sorry for the lack of uploads the last couple days. I've been pretty busy um, IRL. So, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do videos, but I'm going to try to do several uh, right now. So, you should see a good amount of videos in the next couple of days. But before I get into it, I just wanted to mention something, a uh, little bit of a change you're going to see on this channel. Um... I'm going to start doing some Castle Clash videos on this channel. It is a game that I've been playing actually for longer than War Dragons. I did some videos a while back on it on this channel, and they didn't really go very far. Granted, at that time, I only had like 50 subscribers anyways, but, you know, it is what it is. Post a Castle Clash video, I have to post a War Dragons one. So you're not going to see a decrease in War Dragons content, you're just going to see, you know, those extra videos. Obviously, guys, I understand some of you guys might not care about that. Just don't watch it. Don't click it. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube is you don't have to click on videos. So, yeah, um, you know, just to, just a heads up for those who are curious. Not going to be like a whole lot of videos, but, you know, a little bit every now and then. It's a it's a fun game. I personally enjoy it. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It is a little bit comic-y, but, you know, let me know down in the comments if, you, if any of you guys play it. And uh, I'm on the iOS server, so I can add you. Um, cause I need friends. So yeah, anyways, on to the video. So I'm getting a lot of questions about how people should go about the season. And in the past I've done videos on, it's like just generalized and it seems to work, but there are so many different situations that people are in that I felt like it might be an interesting idea to kind of separate it in a sense, kind of block different places of where people are in the game. So for example, I'm going to start at the very bottom and this is for brand new players, basically level one through 50. And I'm going to talk about which divines you should get, the reasoning why, if you just started, what you should be doing. And yeah, let's go and get on into it. So again, if you are higher than level 50, then this might not apply to you, but you know, you can watch it if you want to. So the issue is, and by the way, if you are over 50, you will see a video on this for your level, whichever level you are in a couple minutes after this one goes live. All right, so we got Jarl, Astrid, Sirt, Bajorn. There's so many freaking things in this season now. Gunner, Hildur, Erdvert, and Skuld, and then the egg token bonus. So what should you get? As a brand new player, a lot of people get a dragon. And... You know, realistically, it's not a bad thing. Getting a dragon is not terrible because, you know what? These dragons are really, really strong when you first start out in the game. They're kind of freaking nice, you know? They have really good spells. Just getting this egg is not that expensive. I think it's like around maybe a little bit over a thousand sigils, which honestly is not too terrible. However, as you're getting into the game, you, unless you are, you know, starting out and you're spending a ton, you're not going to be able to get very many, many sigils, at least until you start leveling up and getting in better teams, in order to get, you know, even to the gold stone. So what a lot of people do is they'll get like the green stone, and then that's as far as they can get. The issue with that is at lower levels, you go through tiers pretty quickly. If you are active and you're, you know, doing stuff in the game, maybe spending a tiny bit you're not going to be in green tier very long. You're going to be on gold, platinum, sapphire, whatever, pretty soon. So this guy is going to become obsolete. So in my opinion, obviously, you know, if you want to disagree with me, let me know down in the comments. You know, we can talk about it. But if you are a brand new player, I would skip dragons for now. This is your first season. And I would go for Astrid or Bajorn. And personally, I would go with Astrid. The reason behind that is because we've noticed a pattern where these defensive riders slowly get better and better and better. First, we got, uh, what was it? Um, I think it was Tanakh was the first one. First season rider that was defense, and he was, like, amazing for the time. Then we got Lorenzo, which was even better. And then we got Bajorn, which is, like, a little bit less, but still really freaking good. Um, so having a defense rider at lower levels isn't going to benefit you as much as as when you're a little bit of a higher level. Bases don't start getting really, really good until you start leveling up a little bit. And really, you shouldn't be focusing on your base until you're like level 250. I don't mean like focusing on your base as in at all, but dragons are pretty much overpowered enough to take most bases. So 
I would personally get the offensive writer. Astrid. It is quite cheap. It, I think it's like 6,000 sigils to finish the first page entirely. But you don't even have to finish the entire page. That it, I mean, it's, you have that option to, you know, maybe only get the first couple rider shards. Because this rider can be used on any dragon that you get. So this season, you know what? You might not be able to get very far in a dragon. But if you get Astrid, you can use Astrid on future divines. Because next season, you know what? You might be level 70, and you might be able to get, you know, let's say a Sapphire or Garnet Stone for a dragon. And now you have a very, very good rider to use. And these buffs, guys, are amazing. The HP, attack percentage, and the XP gain that you get from these riders is so important these days. Because at lower levels, you're not experiencing Atlas. At least, the majority of lower levels aren't. Um, so you're not going to have really good gear. You're maybe not going to be able to access other Atlas riders. So this is really going to be where you can get these important riders to improve your dragon strength. Because most bases can be taken out pretty easily at lower levels, obviously. Um, you know, depending on the dragon you're using and all that. Besides that, you know, some people argue that you want to use uh, egg tokens, but... Sorry, not use egg tokens, but get the egg token bonus. You know, it's not terrible, but, I mean, as you progress in the season, this gets less and less valuable, obviously, because, you know, you have less and less time uh, for this to be in effect. So this ends whenever the season does. And it is like 3,000 sigils or so, so it's not terribly expensive. But, again, it's not a permanent thing. It does help you get more egg tokens, obviously, but at a lower level, you, I mean... It, it kind of depends. Like, if you're really, really active, then maybe. Maybe this will be better than Astrid. But for me, personally, I would prioritize Astrid over the Egg Token um, bonus branch, personally. Obviously, that is completely, you know, my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Trying to keep this as short as possible, because obviously I'm just targeting a specific levels. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments if you need any other assistance. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.